coming to you live. Just gonna start with some of our Glorious Primer. Just gonna do a pea sized amount. Put it everywhere your face, eyes, everything. Just gonna prep your face for the makeup application. Close your pores, fills in fine lines, and just make sure your makeup goes on even and lasts all day. How you guys doing? Hi McKenna. Hi Melissa. How's everybody doing? Join your Tuesday. Hi, Rachel. Just start with brow liner and I use medium. Oh, I can send you the link. I, they're still available. Um, you're probably not in her page. It's, it's one of our black statuses like way up there. She has a certain person she goes through and makes these shirts. Give me a second. I gotta get my cat out of the room because he's trying to attack my background. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go out. I was trying to have him play in here, but nope. Don't want to stay in here. <sighs> Hi, Michelle. Um, well, right now it's very windy. It was raining. I think it looks like it's about to rain again. Right now it's really nasty looking out, but um, it's hard to say exactly. I think it's like probably compared to the states, like at least the East Coast, because that's where I'm from, probably around like Maryland, maybe Delaware ish type weather, maybe. Um, where it gets a little snowy apparently in the winter, so it'll be my first winter, but not, um, not a lot of snow at all. Probably a couple inches at most. And, um, and the summers get pretty hot and it the summers last pretty long too like up until like two weeks ago maybe three weeks ago it was still like 80 most days so it's kind of been up and down it's hard to say really exactly what but it definitely is humid here when it gets hot definitely humid Thank you, Crystal. Hi, Rachel. Awesome, Joshua and Ava. Is that how you say it? Is it Ama? Amya? Hi, Sherry. Hi, Sherlina. Awesome. Is it Cheyenne? How do you pronounce it? Hi, Hi Michelle. Hi, Daisy. Andy, I'm good. Hi, Jordan. Hope everybody else is having a good day. Don't love this brow right now. I feel like I need to tweeze it or something, but whatever. Say lovey. Amaya. Amaya. Okay. No plans today. My husband didn't have to work. He was supposed to, but he was on call and never had to go in. So that's pretty awesome. I'm just watching The Voice from Monday nights. Does anybody else watch The Voice? It was crazy. So, like, they just finally got into, like, the lives. Because, obviously, tonight, you know, I hope everybody vote. I'm not talking about politics. I don't talk about politics out here. But I hope everybody voted today, and I'll be watching after I get off of here, figure out what's going on. But, um... Because of that, they're like, did the voting, normally like you vote on Monday and you have until like Tuesday morning and then Tuesday they show the results. Well, they did it all in one night and I'm like, what? <laughs> it was crazy. I don't know if you guys watch The Voice normally, but it was funny. They packed 20 performances and results all in one episode. And I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, Tara? To The Voice? I love The Voice. You like Adam's team? I was really sad. I really liked Blake's team. Like everybody, but I was happy for 
pretty sure I was happy with most of the results. I'm not gonna spoil anything if anybody hasn't watched it yet, because I was just able to start watching it, because we can't watch anything live here from the States. Like, you know, we can't watch it. Like, it's on Hulu right after the next day. So I can't watch it live. So it sucked because I couldn't even, like, vote. <laughs> um, but it was good. There's a lot of performances packed in one night, so that's what I just did. That was that was the last hour and a half of my life. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Yes, I love the voice. So much, so much talent. It's so sad though, like the knockouts, there were so many people that like, I was sad that left and everything like that. So many good people, so many good people. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with my deluxe brush. I'm gonna go through some palette four. Yeah, palette four, right, yep, yep. I was like, forgot. So I'm gonna start with tender, that's gonna be my highlighting color to my brow. I'm just gonna blend it down a little bit. I love this tender, that's like my favorite color probably from this palette. <laughs> Carla. Yeah, Adam definitely, um, I was happy. He's got Billy. Ooh, well, okay. Spoiler alert. Stop. If you watch The Voice, get off for the next 30 seconds. <laughs> I like, um, uh, that I'm glad that Billy and Josh went through. Because they were definitely my top two, I feel like, from, from that, from that team. <laughs> for me. Hi, Rachel. That was a lot of good performances. Okay, so I'm now going to go through the secretive and still just this brush, the deluxe brush, which is just our biggest brush. <laughs> awesome, Cheyenne. Not that you can hear me, but That's a gorgeous color too, oh my goodness. Those are my fa two favorite colors from this palette. That was secretive again. Yeah, Billy's really good and his his last performance was really good, really good. No, my husband watched The Doc Walking Dead, um, but I'm not into scary stuff. That looks too scary for me. <laughs> Sounds like a baby of me, but looks a little tense. Hey, Chris Lynn. Hey, Chrissy and Natalie. Uh, I really like Sundance. From Blake Steam. He's like really good. That's my husband's favorite. It was actually really nice that they packed it all in one episode though, because that like saves watching a million other episodes. <laughs> so definitely not quick. No, I used to years ago, Daisy, watch Dancing with the Stars, but not anymore. There's, I don't have enough time to watch, like, there's so many shows I'd love to watch, but don't have enough time. So, so Voice is probably one of my guilty pleasures, that's, and, the, and although I'll probably get a lot of hate, or maybe some love, Bachelor and Bachelorette, I love that drama. <laughs> it's awesome. Give me one second. My nose is killing me. Oh, allergies. But yeah, those are my two, like, things that take up hours of my time, but still need to watch those. <laughs> Yeah, Sundance is awesome. Hi, Taylor. Hey, Christy. Hi, Rosalie. Okay, what now? Defiant. Defiant. I love this Defiant. Gorgeous, gorgeous coppery color. This is our cream shadow. It's a cream shadow brush. But our creams dry to a soft powder finish. They don't crease or anything like that. So don't be worried just because they have the name cream. <laughs> My husband's military, so we're stationed in Japan right now. So if you want to get close to the base, just kind of flip this up to get close to the base of your lashes. Thank you, Lindy. Lindy? Awesome, Cheyenne. I don't know if you can hear me, but if you have any questions, definitely message me. <laughs> I love The Bachelor Bachelorette so much. Oh, my husband like makes fun of me. Sometimes I'll still watch episodes of me. But I'm like, it's funny. He's like, you really think they're falling in love? Which maybe sometimes they are, yeah. Some of them are, and some of them break up. Actually, most of them break up, but it's okay. 
It's funny. It's drama. He loved Chad last year, though, because he just loved how much everybody hated him. <laughs> if you guys watched last year. <laughs> it's like, he would, like, come in, like, I'd be watching the bedroom or something, and he'd come in for, like, a half a minute and, like, see that he's on. He's like, and then he'd sit there for, like, a half hour just watching him. <laughs> just because he thought it was so funny how much everybody hated him. I've been watching that literally since season one. I used to watch my mom my, when I was like nine is probably when it started so long ago. Hi Jennifer. Hi Danielle. Oh, awesome giant. Yes, yep. I think there might have been one Bachelor in Paradise or something that I haven't seen, but this past year, yeah. Yep, with him. Yeah, and as soon as you think he's turning over a leaf. Because I don't think he's really a bad person, but he just wants to get at everybody's goat. <laughs> yeah, I know, me either. It's it definitely funny. They always, like, I swear, sometimes, like, I think they pay people to go, like, act crazy because there's like so many people like that I'm like they had to pay them to be on the show or something because like there's never been a season without drama like without this one person that makes it farther than they should and is crazy it's usually the girls that are crazy but <laughs> sometimes the guys but there's always something going on they have a boyfriend or girlfriend at home or are you know, trying to date the hotel clerks or trying to date the other producers. There's always something. I swear they pay him to do that though. But it's funny anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd still watch <laughs> if Chad was picked. <laughs> Whatever. And I mean, everybody hated Nick too and he's not a new Bachelor and I don't know, I grew to like him more. I don't think he was ever as bad as Chad. Chad's just thrives for the drama, but nobody liked Nick for the most part, especially right away. And I'm just kind of press this in to blend that up. And look how gorgeous. Love this color. Bring it a little bit below, mainly in the middle. Yeah, he ate a lot, but I mean, he ate healthy. <laughs> it was all just a bunch of meat and lettuce and all that kind of stuff. Defiant cream shadow. I love this cream shadow. Oh, really? Nicole, I believe it. Like, I know The Bachelor or The Bachelor always gets paid. Like, like a lot of money, apparently. But whatever. It's funny. <laughs> Why not? Exactly, Rachel. Yep, that's what never eats. <laughs> yes, if you have blue eyes, this color would be perfect. Again, it's defiant. Cream shadow. Seriously. If you have um, blue eyes, orange is the opposite of the color wheel, and it's perfect to balance out. And, I mean, a copper color is basically orange. I mean, not a lot of people wear orange-orange. I do like orange-orange, though. We have a giddy color. Um, and everybody's always scared to use it, but don't be scared to use it. But if you have blue eyes, it's really gonna make them pop. Although I love this color with my brown eyes. I think it would look good, great with green eyes, of course, too, or hazel, whatever. But especially if you have blue, definitely. Hi, Bella, awesome. Make the Olivia face when you're mascara. I don't think, I can imagine, just like open mouth. <laughs> I can't imagine, what's Olivia? Which, which season's for mom? I can't even remember. Yeah, I hope he finds love. I think he's better, and if you watch him on Bachelor in Paradise, like, he, I don't know. He definitely deserves it now. Yes, I love his color, Nikki. Extravagant's definitely good for blue eyes, too, because it's, like, a gold. And these colors look good together, too. So extravagant, defiant. doing okay let's go through with my liner shader brush and palette four pen season olivia i definitely know who that is but i can't think of who that is i'm like really bad with names by the way too like we're watching the voice 
And like the couple names that I mentioned is like the only names I know. Like we're watching, I'm like, wait, who is that? Like my husband would say a name. I'm like, I don't know who that is. Just tell me what they look like and <laughs> what kind of hair do they have? Uh, I'm gonna go through the little bit tender with the liner shader brush and give me some highlight in here. And it, I'm trying to figure out who Olivia is. I know who Olivia is, I just can't figure it out. Oh, wait, she was the weather person, right? Now I feel like I remember she had blonde, short hair. She was a weather girl. Okay. That feels like so long ago. Oh my goodness. Okay, just give me a little highlight in the front. Hey, Tabitha. Hi, Crystal. Okay, so I'm going to go through the liner part, and I'm going to go through Brave, and I'm going to make that my liner. On the bottom and the top. So I'm just going to do a little bit. Kind of just above the Defiant and... On the outside, I'm going to do some wings with this. So if you're bad at making wings, use a, a pigment. So I just have it on my liner shader brush. Just make a line and just press it right in there and kind of bring it down. And just keep keep kind of doing that. Keep going over the same spots. You can do black, brown, colorful colors, whatever you want. And create a wing. It is the easiest way to create a wing. And it works with any, any of our palettes, honestly. Hey Nancy. Yeah, Taylor, I figured it out. I just like had to like keep thinking, keep thinking in my head. <laughs> Hi Isabella, I like that name. Thank you. Yes, the colors are so pigmented, especially the palettes. But our crew shadows definitely are too. If you're gonna get one brush, seriously, this liner shader brush is my favorite. I use the crease brush a lot too, and of course for the cream shadows, the cream shadow brush, but for the pigments and the palettes, this is my most used brush. Both sides. You could try it, and plus I used a lot of Defiant. Like I wanted a nice thick layer. You could do any of our cream shadows, like a nice thin layer. You want just a little shimmer, a little bit of color. Um, it doesn't have to be, but I like it how pigmented, it, you know, it can be. Um, if you want less pigment, just kind of rub more. I did more pressing to make sure I'm not rubbing it off, if that makes sense. Hello, Dina. You do an absentee ballot, Valeria, when you're overseas, but I'm not going to talk about politics. I only mentioned it quickly because that's why the voice wasn't on. <laughs> and I'll definitely be watching that all after. Okay, so done with eyes. I'll go, oh, well, shadow. I'm going to go through the mascara. Let's get this hair out of the way before I end up getting mascara all in it. <laughs> Hi, Becca. Ooh, stay back. Oh, goodness. Try to keep it back, and I still get mascara in it. Whatever. Always happens. No, our cream shadows dry to a powder finish. They do not crease. That's the biggest thing that would bother me, obviously. I used eyeshadow primer as an eyeshadow once. Oh, as an eyeshadow once? Eye primer? Our primer is pretty much clear. Oh, the Glorious primer definitely is, but the eye primer has like a little bit of nude, but as soon as you apply it, it basically just blends into your natural skin tone. Awesome, Lady and I love purples. And if you have um, green eyes, purples are awesome for you. Purples are good for anybody, because purple's amazing. But <laughs> if you have green eyes, 
purple really makes them stand out. So I just did a base coat, just a quick little coat on both eyes. And then I'll go through with more mascara. Um, well, make sure to let the primer sit before you apply the cream shadow and don't put too much in your crease. Like just kind of blend it out so you don't have too much in your crease, but definitely making sure your primer sits before you put, um, shadow on it is important. That's why I always do my, my, um, what's it called? Primer and then I go through with my brows and then I do my eyes. Same goes for face, that's why I do my primer like way before I do my face. I need to find where my, I need this, my lashes do not want to separate today. <laughs> Your eyes are very dark brown, you can wear anything. <laughs> Anybody can wear anything, but yes, great fall color. Awesome, Lisa and Jacqueline. Okay, I need to separate these. Although I'm always deathly scared, I'm gonna poke myself in the eye. But they do not want to separate today. So if you have lashes that don't want to separate, definitely use like a lash comb and do all that. Try to do that before you go through with the fibers. Come on, Sandy. Definitely message me that it's still not working. Have you tried the Glorious Primer too? Instead? Everybody's like different. One sometimes works better for the other. The cream shadow is definitely a little goes a long way. Like, I use a good amount, but I just don't use like a crazy amount. So the fibers are loose. Roll them back your hand to press them down. You can spray your rose water as many times as you want, but you should twice a day, um, at least. I mean, you can spray it throughout the day. If your face starts feeling, if you have really dry skin especially, or even honestly oily skin, if your face starts feeling dry though more than anything, like throughout the day, just squirt like a squirt of rose water. Just kind of do it kind of pretty far up and just let it kind of fall on your face. And it'll just kind of bring back that moisture to your, to your face. But definitely use it after washing your face. Like before moisturizing and after washing. Every morning and every night. You don't have to run back your hand, but it's just going to cause you to get less. It presses them down, so it causes you to get less on your lashes. So, for me, you know, less means less clumpy. <laughs> and these are what literally just attached to the length and volume of your lashes to give you even more length and volume. And then I'm going to seal them with the gel in a minute. I'm going to go through the comments, and then I'll go through that. Yeah, try letting it stay longer. See what happens. Hi, Cheyenne. Hi, Annie. Hi, Haley. Thank you. Oh, yes. There's no such thing as using it too much. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to seal these fibers in with the gel. And I do at least two to three coats and usually just different quick coats
Yes. First off, all our products are hypoallergenic. So if you have sensitive skin, sensitive anything, um, it shouldn't bother you. I mean, obviously, if you're allergic to something, it's a whole different thing. But all the products like paraben-free, sulfate-free, all that kind of stuff, no harmful chemicals, and obviously nothing's ever tested on animals. That's like my biggest thing if you watch me run normally. Kill me if they did. Um, but also our con um, mascara is proof for contact wearers and ophthalmologists approved. Um, but there's no chemicals, so there's no harmful smell. My eyes don't water when I apply it. A while ago, I, I came on here to do a um, comparison video, and I just opened up to other mascara, and it just, oh my goodness, those chemicals. I could smell it immediately. I hate that. And you can totally use the gel alone with this. If you don't always want to use the fibers, you don't have to. You can just choose to use them special occasions or something. And then make sure to never pump your wand. If you need more, just kind of swirl it in the tube. I'll show you in just a sec. So just swirl it in the tube instead of pumping your wand to like get more mascara on it. That's just gonna cause it to dry out and invites bacteria in it if you do that by pumping. So you can, if you don't care about your mascara, not last as long. And that goes for honestly for any mascara. Any mascara at all. Cats me out into the door. Naughty boy. Okay. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay, so mascara done. Stuff is amazing. You guys need it in your life. Get my hair back. Don't want to ruin my curls. Happy with my hair today for the first time in a while. <laughs> uh, foundation. Cat's not even in here and I got cat hair in my eye. Oh. Probably can't see that, but I just took like a giant long cat hair out of my eye. So just make sure to empty the dropper, anything that's in there. Shake it up real good. Hmm. Yep. Yep. He's loud and annoying. I thought he was gonna stay out there. My husband's here. Like, it was apparently not entertaining him enough. But I tried letting him in here and then he was being naughty at the beginning of the video, so I was like, nope. You're not allowed in here then. I'm using liquid foundation. I use organza right now. I switch it up between a bunch of other things. All our products are mineral based, so they kind of still blend into your natural skin. I change it up with what I use. <laughs> but this is what I chose today. Just dot it everywhere. A liquid foundation is a liquid that dries to a soft powder finish. Not fully matte or anything, but definitely not as liquidy as most liquid foundations. Um, you can use as little or as much as you want. A lot of people just use three to four drops. I use like six or seven normally. Um, I like a little bit more coverage. It's buildable, so you can do a whole second layer uh, to get more coverage. But either way, it's still just a medium coverage. So if you need, it's really going to help hide blue, um, redness good. It's really, really good for that. But when it comes to pimples and stuff, um, you're definitely gonna want concealer and or pressed powder. And I'm just gonna use our pressed powder to top it off. Of course, Angel, just send me a picture of you in natural lighting and I can help ya. And if you guys wanna know what foundation is best for you, tell me what type of skin you have, like more oily, more dry. And if you like a full coverage, and if you like matte or not, that type of thing. You guys can always message me any questions at any point in general. Most of you guys are interested in joining. I started talking about this earlier and then I think I forgot. I got on tangent of the voice. <laughs> but um, it's, 20, it's um, $99 to join. You get over $200 worth of makeup and get 20% off for life. No fees, no commitments, anything like that. And this month only is free shipping on the presenter's kit. So it's awesome. Save $5.50 there. Everybody counts. Just make sure to brush it lightly. Especially when you're editing. It's just going to make it much better. Okay, tell me what lips I should do. 
Oh, I should probably do this. Tell me if you guys think. I should probably do this. Let's do livid. Because I was going to do that yesterday and then it didn't happen. Tell me if I should do something else. I'm going to get my cat and maybe he'll be better. You wanna say hi to everybody? Oh gosh. You wanna say hi to everybody? Say hi. What are you doing? Just wanna sleep? I don't even know what he's doing. Hi dog. Hi Brandy. Yeah, my cat. Hopefully I'll just fall asleep now. <laughs> I think he went underneath my desk and hopefully I'll just rest. Put some blush and bronzer. Should I do a little bit? Should I do something else? What y'all think? Hi, Cynthia. Oh, got it. I'm gonna do, where's my bronzer, brush or blush? Yeah, he's, he's the best. He's, he's naughty when he meows and stuff like crazy, but he's the best. <laughs> he's a Persian, a doll face Persian. Just love it. Oh my goodness, Milo, you can't play with that. Come here, play with your toy. I'm wanting to bat on my background. Come on, play with a toy. Okay, so I'm gonna start, we're gonna go through with a sunset bronzer, just to give me a little bit of color. Sunset's the lightest, Malibu, or yeah, Malibu's darkest and Hermosa's the medium. Just wanna kinda do it just to give me a little bit of color. Nothing too crazy. Living with peachy liner. I usually do it with Prudent because it's a nude. With peachy liner. Where's my peachy? Should I do live with peachy? Seems interesting. I usually do it with our nude Prudent. That's not even Prudent. Where's Prudent? Where is Prudent? Is this one Prudent? Oh, that's Patty. I did hit. <sighs> Milo, stop. Yeah, this is Prudent. That's normally what I do it with. Can do this. Stoic, you guys think? Or you think, Kelly? Milo, where's your toy? Where's your toy? So I'm just doing this to give me a little color, nothing too crazy. Oh my goodness, my nose is killing me though. What y'all think? You guys get three choices. Somebody else vote too. <laughs> Stoic, fall color, or livid. And then if I choose livid with prudent underneath or peachy underneath. What y'all think? I'm not giving any more choices because that's going to be too much. <laughs> too little much jawline. I just like to do this for like, a soft contour. And I'm just going to go through some sweet blush. Oh my goodness. Milo, play with your toy. Put your toy on the bed. I thought he was going to be good when I brought him in here. But now he's not. I don't want to get up again to kick him out. Everybody's saying limit though. Which which one? With Prudent or which is the nude? Or with Peachy? Never tried it with Peachy. So I'm very interested to see if that would even look good. Try with Peachy? Oh yes, I love Live It, especially with Defiant. So just give me a little cheek color. And then we'll top it off with pressed powder, which is my favorite product of all time. So the pressed powder is obviously just gonna kind of blend everything together, but it's gonna give me that full matte look. So it's a little bit, it's not like um, super wet or anything like that, but the liquid doesn't dry like fully matte. So it's a little bit dewy. This will just give me a full matte look and it'll give you more coverage to the powder. I 
think Peach is winning, but she's crazy. We'll see what happens. See how it looks. <laughs> I mean, the livid's gonna take over most of it, but and you can totally wear livid alone. It's just um, when, like I normally like to wear it with Prudent because it gives it that true color that it is. But all our lip glosses are a little bit see-through. Um, let me just show you my hand. Like, they're a little bit see-through, so they kind of go based on your natural lip color. Um, so that's why I like it with Prudent, just kind of gives it a little bit more true color versus a little bit softer. So it just kind of depends what look you're going for there. And I'm just going to take the pad of the, um, that comes with the, the powder and just kind of get rid of any pimples. Oh my goodness, there's a fly flying outside my window. And my husband, or not my husband, my, my cat is just like dying out the window, like trying to be on the windowsill, like to attack it. <laughs> He's distracted from the background at least. And her powder is not thick or cakey, so you can just kind of keep adding till it covers all the way. I wear velour powder and tap it in the center. Let's get it in my towel. Hey, Cassie. I still feel like peachy one, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> And their liners can obviously just be worn as liners if you want, but I typically do on the whole lip, and you can wear them alone. Um, they're all matte, and um, they last like at least six hours of them usually. You can press up a little harder or softer depending on how color you want. Come on. Now. I like the foundation brush. Thank you, Carly. Thank you, Kelsey. Okay. And I'll go through the living gloss. We'll see how it looks with this. Livid will probably take over the majority of the color anyways. Goodness. Cat, come here. Come play with a pen. I know you like pens. He loves pens. <laughs> it's very weird, but he like loves knocking them off of stuff. Come on. Oh my goodness, cat. Let me get to white. Okay, so it makes it a little bit more pinkish. So it's normally a little bit more kind of like this color when I do it with Prudent. But it's like a pinky bronze. But it works. <laughs> um, Defiance this color and then palette four. Okay, any more questions before I get off? Put those little products away. I have to get off. Deal with this cat who's being crazy. Just keep holding his toy. He loves this toy. He's destroyed it. This is his first toy he got. And there used to be feathers. Probably, nope, you can't see it. There used to be a bunch of feathers and he's just ate them and destroyed them all. But he still loves it. It's totally broken. Like, this used to be able to extract like come out and go back in. Not anymore. Nope, he broke it. What time do I know? I don't know. It's not a normal for me to go on anymore. It's way too hard for me to plan my days. Um, around now, plus or minus a couple hours. I just, I like coming on different times because I get to see different people too, but I try to plan it out, but it never works that way. It never works that way. Thank you, Tiffany. 
Thank you, Jessica. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, you guys can always message me. Um, if you need a color match, just send me a picture of you in natural lighting. And again, if you guys are interested in joining, it's only $99 to join and you get a kit of makeup over $200 worth. So you're basically just buying a kit of makeup for half off. And then you get 20% off on the other products and there's no fees, no commitments. And this month only, it's free shipping on the kit. So it's an awesome deal. If you guys are interested, definitely let me know. Um, and if you guys actually want to work the business, I can definitely help you out with that. I got my own team and training pages and I'd love to work with all you guys. So I think I'm going to get off if you guys need anything. Also, you can shop or join at uniquebeautybykayla.com. Just click shop or join, whichever you want to do. And you can just browse everything too. Um, but I'm going to get off. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys like this video too, like and share. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.